Stan Jabalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GD. Whiskey One Good Vibrations. In the video immediately following this one, you will find a comment from a viewer who wants to dangle a wire antenna from the window of a third story floor in a four story building. Now, a third uh, story floor window, presumably, if the stories are about 10 feet high, is going to be about 30 feet or 10 meters above earth ground. So the antenna, if you dangle it from the window, isn't going to be longer than 30 feet. Well, that sort of places a limitation on the frequencies that you can use. Probably uh, the best results would be obtained on 40 meters or, uh, and above, 7 megahertz or higher frequencies where the antenna itself is at least a quarter of a wavelength long. But I remarked in that video in my reply to his comment that I can't really offer any advice since I'm not on site. And that remains true except the, for the key word dangling that antenna out the window. I would have to say that in any situation, dangling an antenna out a window means that the antenna or the wire is going to run close to the building, no matter how long it is. And that means that you're going to have high current portions of the antenna radiating RF directly into the building with no intervening distance. Also, getting a good RF ground at the feed point is going to be impossible because of the distance from the window to actual ground if you use a single wire end-fed antenna. You're just not going to be able to do it. Dangling an antenna from the window of a high story building, no matter how high that building is, is a practice I would never recommend for the reason that it would be susceptible to radio frequency interference and it would likely cause radio interfe frequency interference to other people in the building. The only answer I can offer, uh, my friend, is run that antenna at a right angle horizontally away from the building if you possibly can. That's point number one. And point number two, make that antenna as nearly as possible to, as near as possible to some integral multiple of one half wavelength and use a transmatch at the feed point. The reason for that length is so that the resistive component of the impedance is high, which will render the ground loss comparatively low, even if it's quite high itself. And at radio frequencies in a window that high above the ground, you're, you're just not going to be able to get a good radio frequency ground with a low resistance. It's just not going to be possible. For direct current, yes, but not at RF. You're just not going to be able to do it. The only other thing I could recommend, perhaps, is a ZEP antenna, end fed, if you're insisting on using a single wire, where the radiating element is any integral multiple of a half wavelength, and the feed line, which should be balance line, can be any length longer than a quarter of a wavelength, and then you can use a transmatch, and even if the radiation uh, re resistive component of the impedance is low, if the antenna is balanced, the RF ground will be offered by that auxiliary element in the uh, ladder line, the non-antenna portion. Uh, so that's all I can recommend, really. That he, this video uh, viewer, is talking about dangling an antenna from a window. And I'm afraid 
that the only way you're going to prevent causing interference to other people in your building is to use low power, 10 watts or less preferably. And the only way you're going to be able to prevent interference to your station from appliances in that building is to be either luckier than anyone I've ever known or else somehow blessed with miraculous powers beyond which, uh, which lie beyond my comprehension. In other words, you've got yourself a real conundrum, but you will never make any contacts if you don't at least try. That, that's why I said I, I don't know what advice to offer if I'm not on site, but seeing as you said dangling, I think I can offer that much advice at least. Vaya con Dios. Walk with God. Good luck. 73. And so long, which, regardless of whether the antenna is dangling or not, regardless of how long it is, always translates to da-da-da-da-da. -da 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 -da.